how to share the gospel to your family if you are new in Christ. I know as a new believer in Christ, uh, mahirap mag-share ng gospel sa pamilya mo. Dahil they will immediately think that you're promoting your religion. Even if not, in fact, what we're sharing to them is only Jesus Christ and His saving grace, what He did on the cross. So, it is uh, really normal that at first, uh, they will be angry with you. I experienced that. <laughs> I experienced all of that with my mom. Like, just pick a word about the Bible, a verse about the Bible, and they will scream at you. Yes, na experience ko talaga yan firsthand. So, here are the ways that um, I dealt with it. Like, um, I really, I really experienced it, all of the rejections. So, um, here are the ways that I learned the hard way. That's why I'm sharing it to you so that it could guide you for you not to be discouraged um kasi at first they will really uh, you will really experience persecution and say bad things about you and your faith so that's what really is very painful when they talk about your faith when they talk about religion where it's not about religion. What you're saying is, what you're telling them is Jesus. So, um, in short, they're attacking Jesus. They are rejecting Jesus, not you. So, that's why it, it's even more um, painful for me. Because, uh, you know, we really love Jesus. And it's really very, very painful when they reject Jesus. So... Um, here are the ways um, that I did, but did, this is really not an easy way. I did it like for almost two years before my mom was saved. All right, so the, the first thing is the most important one. We should really pray. So pray that the Lord will open their spiritual eyes Kasi, di ba, they are blinded by Satan, like the unbelievers. Before, me as well, I was blinded by Satan. And then, pray that their spiritual heart, ears, and mind will be opened. So that when they hear the gospel, they will be able to receive it. So, I did that, like, for a year. I keep praying. But still, whenever I got the opportunity to share to my mom the gospel, they immediately reject me. I couldn't even really start sharing the gospel because they would immediately say, Tumahimik ka nga dyan. Hindi mo ako mapipilit na sumali dyan sa, umanib dyan sa relihiyon mo. Yung mga ganun. So, that was really hurtful, but I continued to, to pray and to ask God guidance. And then um, God placed this in my heart as I was watching um, preaching videos on our TV. God told me to, um, lakasan mo yung, yung um, volume ng TV. So, um, di ba, before... My mom would be really angry or scream at me when I read a Bible, um, Bible verse to her. So now, naririnig niya, yung, um, naririnig niya yung preaching from a pastor. And it was actually um, Pastor Molina, Pastor Arlene Molina that I was watching all the time. Kasi... Um, she speaks Bisaya, so my mom could understand her really well. Kasi if Tagalog or English, like, he couldn't catch that up. So, Bisaya. And then, kahit nasa kusina siya, kahit nasa porch, or nasa kwarto, 
hin- naririnig niya yung word of God at hindi siya nagagalit kasi this is a pastor and what I'm watching is a Sunday service nagsisimba so she was not reacting to it so that was a good that was a good sign so I'll, I keep I kept doing that and then um diba faith comes from hearing and hearing and hearing the word of God so sa pamamagitan nito naririnig niya yung word of God kahit nasan siya sa bahay so then after um after few months um i i i kasi ako yung type ng person na parang hindi talaga ako makapaka hindi talaga ako mapakali na yung mom ko kasi dalawa na lang kami ng mom ko sa bahay hindi talaga ako mapakali na um i will go to heaven and what will happen to my mom so hindi ko pwede na pabayaan siyang ganito na lang yung buhay niya so what i i ask god in my prayer like what to do what i'm going to do and then god told me to pray and fast so yeah prayer prayer and fasting talaga sabi sa matthew 6:16 jesus said when you fast So hindi niya sinabing na hindi niya sinabing if you fast. Right? So he expected Christians to fast for power because fasting is powerful. Remember when the disciple tried to heal the epileptic child in Matthew 6 um but the child uh, couldn't be healed. Tapos nung dumating si Jesus, he healed the child. Tapos sabi niya sa kanila sa verse 21, so Matthew 6 verse 21, However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. So that means there's a certain level of power that we need because there are principalities of the air so demonic spirits rankings in satan's kingdom so we christians really need to fast so there you go i fasted so we need to fast so that we can have the power or the authority to drive out demonic spirits that are operating in the lives of our siblings or parents kasi sometimes they're not hearing the gospel because there are certain demonic spirits that are trying to hinder them from hearing it so i fasted every saturday that time kasi nagtatrabaho ko graveyard shift tapos may meron pa talaga akong ang um, two years old na anak that time so it's very hard so but I really tried to um have a day to to fast to pray and fast so I did it every Saturday like I guess it was for around three months then God told me to fast for three days, so I did that, and God did a marvelous thing to my mom's life. Like after a month, um, after praying and fasting for three days, and then a month later, my mom had a stroke. Yeah, that's right. That's God's way of getting my mom to hear the word of God. Kasi pag nasa bingit ka na ng kamatayan, wala ka talagang ibang sasandalan kundi si Jesus lang talaga. Kaya I was able to pray for her healing like um my pastor told me to um, make it as a medicine so we're doing it i'm praying for her every four hours and imagine like i guess that was just two days she recovered absolutely a miracle like um during that stroke she couldn't speak she couldn't really um she can say um a word but 
like just mumbling but not really a straight word and then she she couldn't uh, um, she couldn't stand and she was very heavy so we're having a really hard time that time but for two days I was making prayer her medicine so we're praying for her every four months including our pastor and then as in it was God's miracle she he really is a miracle worker my mom's health was restored completely after like three days and then by the grace of god one day my mom asked me san kami nagsisimba or um tuwing kailan kami nagsisimba so I really told her and invited her even though I know deep in her heart that she wants to but she is just uh, you know shy and have the bit of pride kasi alam mo yon mama mo tapos susunod sa yo usually dapat nanay sa nanay tayo sumusunod right so yon grabe talaga yung mga ways ni God so that was one of the highlight of my life that was one of aside from my life's testimony that was that is the second um most amazing testimony in my life um yung yung salvation ng mama ko so um yeah god was really true to his words in acts 16 31 believe in the lord jesus christ you will be saved you and your household so palagi ko yung kiniklaim during my prayer and even now kasi i still have brothers and sisters that are not yet a believer so if you have a family member that is not saved yet drop his name on the comment section below so that we can help pray for him yes i would really i would really do it mark my word because god is you know god um hears what we say and uh, I, I i i couldn't lie because god is listening to me so i will pray for your family member just drop the comment uh, just drop his name on the comment section below so if you like this video and you find this helpful please like and subscribe to my channel thank you so much bye